Hey, what's going on with your party people? BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. PW Insider reports that in 2018, late April, early May, that lockdown will be returning to pay-per-view. Lockdown is one of the more popular pay-per-views. Then they change it to a TV special for a couple years, and then we didn't get one last year. I don't know the reason, or I shouldn't say last year, rather, this year. We're still in 2017. I don't know why we didn't get it. I mean, I guess I do. That was, you know, around the time they do it is when Jeff Jarrett came aboard and Anthem, and we started having blue robes and green robes, and all these different wrestlers come in and out. I mean, we can talk all day about the mess that 2017 was with no consistency. So I can see very much why they didn't do a uh, pay-per-view. See, at that time, and this was prior to the Slam Anniversary build in India, that whole block of tapings when Jer came, Je Jeff Jarrett came aboard, there wasn't really a direction. Like, they were just trying to get us to, you know, get into Magnus and, or, you know, Scum and, um, damn, who else? Matt Morgan and a bunch of people who weren't there anymore. So lockdown is coming back. And in the comments, guys, you know, what's, what's one of your favorite or some of your favorite lockdown matches over the years. We haven't had it since 2016. It was in the UK. And uh, there was the great match between Matt Hardy and EC3. I don't even remember how good the match was, to be totally honest with you. But Spud did the turn at the end of the match. Freaking badass. That, that was really memorable for me. I really like that in 2016 in the very last one. Also, they did the first ever lethal lockdown with the women. I hope they kind of go that direction again because that match, I don't want to say disappointed, but think of the participants. It was supposed to be Gail Kim and the beautiful people against the doll house. And uh, this wasn't Taryn Terrell's doll house. This was Rebel's doll house. And even though I'm a huge fan of Rebel now, like I think she just overnight, <laughs> it seems like just got better. You know, back then she wasn't very good in the ring. Jade wasn't really doing a whole lot in the ring. You know, Marty was Marty. Um, but that that dollhouse group wasn't really wrestling that good. And then the beautiful people, Madison Rain and, and um, Velvet Sky. You know, we know Velvet Sky has her limitations. And then um, Madison Rain was injured before the match. So it was a two-on-three match. Maria was supposed to fill in for Madison Rain, but she ended up closing the door and that whole thing. So... That match was used more to advance storyline. And uh, the dollhouse kept getting one up on the beautiful people back then. And I don't know, like, there was just so much potential with doing the first ever lethal lockdown with them, and they didn't do it. What I really like about lockdown is that, you know, take a similar pay per view in another company, uh, what they call Hell in a Cell, okay? They'll do that pay per view, but it's really only like the main events in the Hell, you know, inside the cage. What I really like with Lockdown is that obviously every match is six sides of steel, but we get the the knockouts. We get the lower card matches, you know? I think that's cool, you know, to use that 2016 as an example again because it was the last one. You know, Grado and Eli Drake had a match. So I'm really excited for Lockdown to come down, or Lockdown to come back. So if the rumor is true, um, Late April, early May, that means the March set of tapings in Canada will be the build to lockdown. So I think this is a good thing. I think it's really exciting. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If this is true, then it's we're finally going to get that third pay-per-view. And with the really nice thing about it, when you just have the two pay-per-views, it's like you only get two block of ta blocks of tapings that have an actual build towards something. And then you get a lot of just wrestling. So now just adding that third pay-per-view ensures that in March, the, the storylines go somewhere. So I think it's really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, I want to know like your favorite lockdown matches. I think that's, I think it'd be a good time to fire up the GWN and watch some old lockdown pay-per-view. So let me know what you guys, what your favorite matches are and uh, talk to you soon. Peace.